Well, as far as we are concerned as a party, I spoke with the National Secretary General of the, of the party, Ambassador Usman Fori Ansane. He told me uh, that he is working with the legal team, and yet we are yet to decipher, we are yet to decode, we are yet to see where the allegations levied against him of incitement, where did he really... Uh, 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 did such a, a crime. We had did such a crime occur in his interview. So we are yet to decode it. We are yet to decipher it. We are yet to understand where they are coming from. Because we've re listened to the interview and we are yet to hear any statement of incitement. Has the criminal investigation department presented any evidence to the party so to speak as to the reason why he's detained? All we know for now is yesterday he was invited, he was interviewed and detained. And up till now, we are still looking forward and we are still waiting to see evidence from the criminal investigation department. We are in the national publicity sector, the spokesperson, you understand, the fearless personality who stood firm for democracy, who is advocating for freedom of speech, who is advocating for, for democracy, who is advocating for that which we refer to as good, good governance. Where has he gone wrong in his interview? We are yet to uncover that. But as far as we are concerned, we believe in the democratic platform, we believe in the democratic dictate, and we are also going to use those, those legal means, those lawful means to ensure he is released unconditionally because there is nothing absolutely nothing like incitement in his statement what he said is exactly what we are reiterating that we are going to mobilize our people we are going to mobilize our people and i repeat we are going to mobilize our people to get these people out of power using lawful means that was exactly what he said. And we are reiterating that. We are not going to mo mobilize our people illegally, unlawfully. No. We are going to tell the people what we've done in this country throughout the past 10 years of governance, the roads, the electricity, the economy that we, we, that we upgraded. All the, and we are going to mobilize them to say, if we want good governance, vote them out. If we want freedom of speech, vote them out. If we want uh, transformation, vote them out. So that was exactly what the National Publicity Secretary uh, said on, on radio. And that's exactly the standpoint of the APC, that we will mobilize our people to ensure we lawfully get them out of governance. Okay, let me pick you up on two notes. You made mention of fairness and that of um, democratic principles. Now, Wednesday's publication of um, the Awareness Times newspaper purport two schools of thoughts, one of which was um, incitement, and the other, uh, it stated there that um, the acting national publicity secretary for the All People's Congress is just putting up this front because as according to the Awareness Times newspaper, um, it's purported that he's a mall for the Ceylon People's Party. Are, are you aware of this? We saw the publication and we will deliberately not respond to what the awareness is alleging because it has no low cost and it has no base. As far as the APC is concerned, through and through at the period, CDR Tunis. The acting national publicity secretary has been very, 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 very real with us. He has been through and through. He has been advocating. He has been defensive of the democracy of this country, representing the All People's Congress Party. And Sidia Atunis being called the mold is unfortunate. But I will say the APC, the people, the owners of the party, the grassroots, the secretariat, the people of this country, we trust in him. And as I'm speaking to you, I trust him. Systemic arrests are one of the things that the main opposition has been complaining about repeatedly. How do you feel adding this to the list of other arrests that have been made? It's a continued, it's a continued process by the government, like I said, to undermine the democratic space. It's a, pro it's a project to silence the opposition and as far as we are concerned what they've done is they have just empowered us the more and according to what we had we asked where was CDR Tunis taking and then they told us at a place constructed for human beings said it is okay 
for the fact that he is not taken or he was not taken to a place constructed for animals then simply means a place constructed for us and the apc the entire membership the entire secretariat the entire apc is ready to go to that same place because we are going to defend the democratic space of this country we will continue to advocate for freedom of speech in this country and we will continue to advocate for freedom of association in this country do you feel intimidated in any way as a party we feel strengthened that the international community can now recognize our claims that indeed under this particular regime reckless governance is exactly what is at play and that is exactly what we stand against we want true leadership that's exactly what we are yearning for we want legitimate reforms in the judiciary that's exactly what we are yearning for we want all that which will give the dictate of democracy in this country that's exactly what we stand for and we will never back down CDR attorneys have made it very clear we are now level three and that layer is exactly what we are now implementing mobilizing our people telling our people that which we've done and what this government is doing and empowering them to take that lawful decision which is in their hands to vote out this particular government come 2023 and we stand by that my next question is obvious you spoke about level three which is the mobilization stage what is the next level like the acting national, national publicity secretary have stated we are now on level three and by law the party gave him the mandate to tell the people of this country that the apc is now on level three it's now on layer three that is the mobilization level talking to our people addressing our people tell them that indeed we are now ready for governance does this not sound um inciting to you telling the people that we want to mobilize them does that sound inciting our first level is to defend the secretariat and the people of the APC. That's our first level. The second level is to ensure we advocate to the international community about the ruthlessness of this government. The third level is where we mobilize our people, telling them our stance, telling them our positions, preaching to them about the goodies that we've offered them and what we have in stores for them come 2023 moving forward. And we'll also tell them the bad governance that have been purported, that have been displayed by this particular government. Trust me, the next level is level four.